If you would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Damn it. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a two-in-one WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 75, The Hurricane, and Pete Dunne. Didn't want to say The Hurricane, but it says The right there, so I figure go ahead and say The in there. But today, ladies and gentlemen, this is our second review of Elite Series 75, the next two figures in the set, but these are not mine. I still have yet to receive my Elite Series 75, any of my Ultimate Editions, the Elite 2-pack. I haven't gotten any of that stuff yet for them, ringside collectibles. So these figures are actually Mac D that he wanted me to order for him before I ship some other st stuff off to him to save on shipping and things like that. So huge shout out to Mac for making this review possible. We're going to review these things. You guys already know we fixed up our Chase variant Hurricane figure on WWE Action Figure Surgery. If you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. We show you how to fix this to make it longer kick pads, so we will get into all that. But I'm super excited to review these. I love Pete Dunne so much. I love the Hurricane, so this should be great, guys. Let's go ahead and spin them to the right. You have an epic picture of badass Pete Dunne and the Hurricane Shane Helms on the back you get little bio reads if you'd like to read them you can pause it now you have the rest of the figures in the wave we've already reviewed jeff hardy and seth rollins if you want to check that review out we have another beautiful picture of the superhero taking flight and the bruiser weight over here looking badassery again and that pretty much does it for our packaging guys so with that being said let's go ahead and crack pete dunn and the hurricane out of their packaging so here's the hurricane and pete dunn out of their packaging guys totally forgot his uk title there there it is don't hurt me. So here's Pete Dunne and the Hurricane out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell. You know, I have had the, the the opportunity to pose around this Hurricane before I got into this review, so that was very nice. We know how great that figure is, but we are going to take an in-depth look at it. And this Pete Dunne is fantastic. I own two of the Elite 67 Collector's Edition, so this one is so excellent. I cannot wait for mine to come in from ringside. I'm very excited for this figure. Even though this one's going off to Mac, I cannot wait for my Pete Dunne Elite from Elite Series 75. Just first glance at this figure, it looks awesome. But before we get started, guys, if you would like to pick up either of these figures, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But how we do things, guys, is we're going to run through the Hurricane's accessories and then take a closer look at the Hurricane himself, and then we're going to run that hoe back and take a closer look at Pete Dunne's accessories and then Pete Dunne himself. So getting into the Hurricane's accessories, guys, you don't get very much here. We'll get into the interchangeable hands. On the figure out of the packaging, he does come with interchangeable fists with the white wrist tape, which is great. This will be great for different wrestlers you can arm swap with and stuff like that. But uh, as far as interchangeable hands, you get mic holding hands, and then you, oh god, I dropped it on the effing floor. Interchangeable hands wise, guys, you do get the mic holding hands, which are terrific. These are always a must. I wish that every single figure we got included mic holding hands. <laughs> Jeff Hardy. <gasps> and then of course, with the Hurricane, we get this beautiful cloth cape. Now this is something that I'm very excited Mattel did. You have the beautiful Hurricane logo etched on there, but it is, I think it's embossed on there, ironed on, whatever the hell you want to call it. Same thing they do with the t-shirts they did right here. And it's the same material as their t-shirts, but they did add an extra shine to this to give it that hurricane cape look. But this is the same material they use for t-shirts. I can tell just by looking at it. Would you just look at it? So on the front, guys, they did include this Velcro strap, obviously. You got a little Velcro there, a little Velcro there, and you can, you know, attach it right there. However, now the thing does go on the head without even having to un-Velcro it, as you guys see right there. It literally just goes over the figure and then it'll sit there and then you can easily just do the same thing and plop it off so you really don't need the velcro to stay on the figure or take off the figure which is kind of you know it gives me mixed emotions because it's like yeah that's really good to be able to just take it off real quickly but uh, it doesn't stay on there very well if you know you're you're doing this you put the hurricane thing on here and then you're flying around you're flying around let's zoom out a little bit you fly around you fly around and then you dump it over its head and then it will not fall off so unless the hurricane gets sucked into a literal ass hurricane it, it won't fall off so that's that's a okay but that pretty much does it for hurricanes accessories guys so now that we have covered the hurricanes accessories let's get into the hurricane himself so getting into the hurricane guys you will see here that we do have the beautiful mask going on right here with the green hair really like what they got going on um i love that they actually went with like a black wash on the back to really have that black into the green like shane helms hair really was i honestly wish they would have put some black paint around the eyes 
I feel like that would have made it more accurate. I think that would have made the figure look a little bit better. I may do that myself just to kind of see what it looks like. Not on, on Max figure, but on my own figure. And it's kind of really hard to see the straps. I don't think they sculpted the straps on the back of the head right here. If they did, it kind of gets lost in the hair, I guess, due to the black color. But maybe if they would have painted that on there with some, you know, some some glossy sealant that would have, you know, made that stand out a little bit better. Just a, just a minor gripe right there. Nothing too crazy. You do have the deco on the chest, which looks excellent. You got the Hurricane logo on this green t-shirt style torso. You got the graphics going around. On the back, you have the black design going down. You also have the white wrist tape, which we covered. In the pants, you have the same deco going down on the sides as we get on the chest. Same exact logo and everything. You get green open knee pads. You get the lower legs that do have the Johnny Gargano syndrome, which we did fix ours on action figure surgery. And I, you guys will see the comparison shot in the next uh, or the next portion of the video. But you do see that he does have the green shoes on there as well. Just a really beautiful looking figure. It brings back a ton of memories and stuff like that. So this Hurricane figure is excellent, man. I really enjoy it. It, it looks great. It articulates great. The legs are very, very good. Um, they're tight while being flexible at the same time. Same thing to do with the arms and everything like that. I really like the Hurricane, man. I think in our ranking system, when we finally get Mandy Rose and Kaliso in here, it's going to be excellent. But now that we've covered the Hurricane, guys, let's get into some Hurricane Elite figure comparisons. So for your Elite Hurricane figure comparisons, guys, you will see Max Elite 75 Hurricane. In the middle, you have my fix-up Elite 75 Chase Variant Hurricane on the right, which is the slightly different uh, kick pad molds right there. And then you have my custom Elite Hurricane made from his basic and uh, a few parts thrown together with an X-Pac which I really like. I really like the way this looks too. I may put this head sculpt over here and head swap it over here, just kind of look. I think this would look better over here than this would look over here, if you get what I mean. And on this figure, they also included the black around the eyes, which I think also makes this figure stand out about it. So I really do love my custom Elite Hurricane that's been in the collection a good long while now. But here you guys can see the uh, the differences in the kick pad. So these are more accurate. This is what we did on action figure surgery. You guys can see we fixed the lower leg mold right there. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I did include a whole tutorial on it if you guys want to check that out. But that pretty much does it for our Hurricane figure comparisons. Guys, I have not yet gotten my regular version of the Elite 75 Hurricane, which should be in the mail any day now. Hopefully tomorrow I can get that in here and uh, we can see that in a future video as well. So getting into Pete Dunne's accessories, guys, he does come with his removable vest, which is very nice. I think this is the exact same mold that we saw with his last vest. We are going to compare the two in the Pete Dunne portion of the video where we compare both figures side by side, but it is a solid black color you do have his little bear logo that's tattooed on his knee and then some etching in the background in the gold color, bronzish gold color. You also get a UK championship, which is such a beautiful title, probably one of the most beautiful in the whole company. It looks great on the figure, and uh, we've seen this before in the past, but it is very nice to finally have another one of these. It seems like forever that we only had one with one figure, right, or did it get included with something else? I don't know, but I thought Tyler Bate was the only figure we got that with. I could be wrong about that. We also have interchangeable fists and mic holding hands, which are are in the regular skin tone that we see from Daniel Bryan and guys like that. So we've seen that a hundred times before, but you do get the vest, you do get the UK title, and now that we've covered his accessories, <laughs> now that we've covered his accessories, guys, let's take a closer look at the Bruiserweight himself. So getting into the Bruiserweight, guys, you will see here we do have Pete Dunn with his brand new head sculpt, and I think he looks pretty excellent. I don't think it's a perfect head sculpt, but I think it does look good. You know, he's not making any facial expressions. I think I liked what, what I liked about his older figure from Elite 64 was that he looked pissed off. This one just kind of looks normal, which I guess works right now because he's pretty much babyface at this moment and everything like that, but I feel like pissed off really fits the Pete Dunne character, but you do get the longer hair mold on there and stuff. Um, I think you could probably make this look a little bit better and not so flat if maybe you wanted to dry brush it on there or something. One thing I do love is that you can see the mouth guard and the facial hair on there, which I think his older figure had as well. I think the head articulation on this is excellent. I think it, it goes like, it, it sits really high up in there, so it really gets the you know the articulation going on the head sculpt so you love to see that down below we do have the same exact torso we got with his older elite you get black wrist tape which we saw in his older figure you got you know no knee pads that's what pete dunn's known for you got the deco on the sides and that bronzish gold color and the bear and all that stuff the same thing you saw on the back of the vest going down you have solid black kick pads and his bear on the knee and that's pretty much it man pretty plain jane figure this is something that i mentioned i wish that his attire was a little bit better but i do like the pete dunn figure overall 
overall, I still like it a lot. It seems like it's going to be really poseable, like his legs feel great and everything. I wish his figures had a better uh, articulation in the ab crunch, but uh, overall, really good figure, man. Really enjoying this Pete Dunn thus far. But now that we've covered Pete Dunn, guys, let's get into some Elite Pete Dunn figure comparisons. So for Pete Dunn's Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see we have the Elite 75 on the left and the Elite 64 Collector's Di Edition on the right, and this is what I was talking about. People try to tell me that we didn't have a black attire for the Elite 64. Would you look at that, Brad? That's a black attire. Yes, it has maroon and white. Yes, it has maroon kick pads, but it's a black attire. You can see here in the vest, they are the exact same vest, uh, just painted differently, different graphics and stuff. I will say, you know what I think? I like this attire better, but I like this head sculpt better. Then again, I love that head sculpt. Maybe you could do like a hybrid where you hair swap these two and you head swap them. So you would have this hair over here with this head sculpt on this body. I think that would be a really sweet touch. I, I do want to track down some more Pete Dunn's to get some different attires and some different fix-ups and stuff like that. So that's something we'll definitely have to check out. But I'm in love with this Pete Dunn figure. Mac, you're going to have a ton of fun posing him around unless you're going to do a custom and he's going to chill. Whatever you want to do with it, great looking figure. But this is your comparison between the Elite 64 and the Elite 75. Both really strong figures that I highly suggest. But that is pretty much going to do it for this 2-in-1 Elite Series 75 review on the Hurricane and Pete Dunn. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I would highly recommend both figures, especially the Hurricane. If you're a flashback collector, if you grew up during the Ruthless Aggression era, uh, ugh, ugh, vomiting. The Pete Dunn is super nice, and I know the Elite 64 Collector's Edition was very tough to track down. So if you guys had that problem, I would definitely recommend picking this thing up. I really enjoy it. I love the Pete Dunn. I love the Hurricane figure. They're both must-haves. So definitely track both of these things down down. If you want to go grab these guys, they are over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. I do believe Pete Dunn is on back order, but you definitely want to put your order in right there. As soon as that thing comes in stock, you want to get over there, and they may have some in stock. I'm not exactly sure at the time you're seeing this video, but definitely go check it out. Use promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Again, I love both figures, and I would highly recommend them, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, thank you.